Hi there everyone, this is Judge Lackman, and this video is a follow-up to the previous one that I did on the subject of holistic healing with diabetes. For this one I'd like to focus a little bit on a few different herbs and spices that are commonly used to help address diabetic concerns, understanding <clears throat> how and why these are beneficial and how that relates to the digestive organs and to the emotional energies that they resonate with. So if you look at some research and studies concerning these different supplements people are taking for diabetes, you'll find that they tend to be at least as effective as pharmaceutical drugs for controlling the symptoms that are associated with diabetes as far as regulating blood glucose levels, things of that nature. So there's a couple of spices and a couple of herbs I'll mention. And these are cinnamon, turmeric, berberine, and bitter melon. Now if you look at what these are, they're bitter herbs and spices. So spices are substances from plants that have a hot or fiery quality to them. And if we think back to the organs, remember that our liver is the organ that has to do with anger and resentment, those emotions that you could relate to fire and heat, as well as to bitterness. So if you're feeling angry and resentful, you're holding on to some bitterness towards someone. Now those particular herbs and spices actually do help stimulate the functioning of the liver. So they help the liver start to be more active and more efficient as removing fats and toxins from your body, essentially promoting a cleansing and rejuvenation of the liver to some extent. Another popular herb that's used for the liver is milk thistle. That's another bitter type of herb if you were to consume it. So we have these particular plant substances that have a bitter or spicy quality which will start to enhance or activate liver functioning. And when the liver is being more active, when it's functioning better, then it's clearing out those fats, those lipids, and this allows the insulin that your pancreas produces to function more effectively at handling glucose in your body. So it's kind of like a chain reaction. What happens with the liver affects what happens with the pancreas. And if we think about the emotional or psychological aspect consider that when you're feeling angry, when you're feeling bitterness and resentment, you're not really able to be in a state of joy. You're not free to embrace each life, each day of your life, to be fully present and to take in the joys of life. So one affects the other, just as you're emotions of anger and bitterness affect your ability to feel joy and enthusiasm. What's happening with the liver, with dealing with the fats, affects the body's ability to deal with the sugars, the glucose. So if you're looking to work on recovering or healing from diabetes, those are some supplements that can be useful, those particular herbs and spices. They do help enhance the liver's functioning. 
And as I mentioned, there's the secondary effect of therefore allowing the pancreas and the insulin to act more efficiently. Now keep in mind that when you're using herbs and spices, it is possible to overdo them since they do have strong elemental qualities. Too much of it or using it for too long can start to foster some elemental imbalances in your body. So it's better to look holistically at the issues that are creating diabetes so you don't just rely on those particular herbs or spices to compensate for the underlying problem or imbalance, but to actually address things at the root. And that means looking at those emotional issues, releasing whatever emotional baggage of anger or resentment you may be carrying, finding more peace and joy in your life, also bringing more balance to your diet so not over consuming sugars or fats or in general avoiding processed foods where those components of the food have become too concentrated this is something that will make a big difference just by cleaning up and balancing your diet you'll find that your blood sugar will tend to become more stable and other health markers will improve. So I encourage each of you to look at things multidimensionally, holistically, addressing the physiological, the emotional, mental, and spiritual aspects of health to really bring yourself into balance and harmony. Diabetes is a condition that many people are able to successfully recover from to not spend their life dependent on pharmaceutical drugs or insulin injections or things of that nature. What's interesting is if you look at some of the research that's been done on things like berberine or turmeric or bitter melon, you see that the studies show the symptoms of diabetes being controlled just as well by those as they are by pharmaceutical drugs like metformin. While the herbs have less adverse or negative side effects. So it's um, obviously not a matter of what's in the best interest of the public or patients that those pharmaceutical drugs are being prescribed. It's the control that those pharmaceutical manufacturers have over education and treatment in the medical field. For those that are interested in holistic health and wellness, I invite you to view some more of my YouTube videos. Remember, these are educational videos here to give you some information and insight about health issues. They're not intended to replace the diagnosis or treatment of qualified health care providers. For those that would like to find out more about the resources that I offer in my personal practice as a healing professional, you can visit my website, which is phinsights.com. That's p-h-i-n-s-i-g-h-t-s dot c-o-m. For now, I'd like to wish each of you a wonderful day. Namaste.